Hey everybody, this is Mark Vogt with uh, Vote Land Outdoors. And this episode is a newbie lesson in how to shoot a recurve bow in five easy steps. But first, the intro. Okay, now that you guys are back, this is for new archers. You're out there, you're looking on YouTube, trying to find a way to shoot a recurve bow. You're looking for tutorials. And the problem is you probably saw all kinds of them and they try to make it all mystical. And they talk about gap shooting and you see them anchoring on the side of their cheek and you see people shooting all over the place probably. And you're kind of wondering, is that really for me? If your goal is, if you've been looking out there for a way to take an empty recurve bow, there's no sights of any kind, there's no release, there's no pin, there's no nothing. You wanna learn how to shoot this accurately with nothing but your fingers and your brain, this is the method that you wanna learn. It's a five-step method, I call it the Voltland shooting method and it looks something like this. I'm gonna call it out and then we're gonna explain it. Step one, you're gonna choose what's called a gap you're gonna anchor underneath your chin. You're gonna anchor from wherever you choose this gap, the distance between where the arrow is and where you're actually pulling on the string. That's called the gap. You're gonna choose a gap. You're gonna draw back under your chin. You're gonna look down with this eye. You're gonna look down this edge of the string. Four, you're gonna put the tip of the arrow right smack on the target that you're trying to hit. Five, you're gonna do a smooth, small motion release under your chin just by opening your hand up. You're not gonna let go of your chin. Let's go over those five steps one more time. One, step one, choose your gap. This will determine the angle of the bow. This will determine the angle of the arrow. That will determine the range, the distance the arrow goes. The smaller the gap that you go towards the, the knocking point of the arrow, the more the arrow points up, the farther it goes. And you can go all the way out to two and even three fingers above the arrow. Yeah, three fingers above the arrow. You could go four arrows below the arrow, which gives you ranges with this technique. You'll be able to shoot anywhere from 10 yards out to 120 yards. 120 yards with this technique. Let's start over from the beginning. I'm just gonna pick a three finger gap. Step one, choose your gap. Step two, draw back under your chin. Step three, look with this eye, the one that's closest to the string, look down the left edge of the string at your target. Step four, put the tip of the arrow, that becomes your front sight, put it right smack on what you're trying to hit. Not higher, not lower, not to the left for you guys, not to the right. You're putting it right on what you're trying to hit. Step five, Small motion release, small motion. Let's try this on that 10 yard target. The gap, the distance, the angle for me that the arrow has to be is a three finger grip, a three finger gap, sorry. So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna choose my gap, three and a half fingers. I'm gonna draw back with this finger right here under my chin. I'm gonna end up looking down the left edge of the string, and I'm gonna be trying to put the arrow right smack on the target like that. Not below it, not above it, not to the right of it, not to the left of it. I'm not trying to imagine some gap in space out there between the tip of my arrow and that target. I am putting it right smack on the target like that. That's what your eye would see. Let's give this a try. You're gonna look right over my shoulder at this. Step one, choose my gap, three and a half fingers for this one. Step two, draw back under my chin. Step three, look down the left side of the string. Step four, put the tip of the arrow right smack in the middle of that target. Step five, smooth, small motion release. I shot a little high, which means that what I gotta do is slightly change my gap to make it a little bit bigger that my gap was three and a half fingers and it was pointed like this but shot high. To make it shoot low, 
what it, or it shot high to make it shoot a little bit lower the back of the arrow has to go up so I just have to make a little bit bigger gap and that's going to tip the arrowhead down so that it goes a little bit lower let's give that a try that seems easy doesn't it all right here's my gap draw back under my chin look down the left side of the string left edge put the tip of the arrow right on the target and small smooth small motion release Let's adjust that gap just a little bit more. I'm gonna go all the way to four fingers. I don't normally shoot at 10 yards. It's a really short distance. Step one, I chose my gap. Step two, draw back under my chin. Step three, put the tip, look down the left edge of the string. Step four, put the tip of the arrow on the target. Step five, and now we got a bullseye. So you can see how easy this method is. And the, because this is kind of important for all you newbies because I'm actually drawing back under my chin. I'm able to look right over the top of the arrow and get that in perfect alignment with my target. You'll see other techniques where they draw back off to the side of their face like this. But what you end up with guys is that now the arrow is actually pointing a different direction than you're looking. If you were my target and this is my eye, I'm looking right at you and my arrow isn't. You need a method that's going to bring the arrow in perfect alignment with your eye. So you're looking and aiming at the exact same thing. And you'll find out that that technique works a lot better. Let's, uh, let's back up to 20 yards and then we're going to shoot at 30 and even at 40 and you're going to see this method. So I'm going to back up. Okay, now we're shooting at 20 yards. I got two arrows before I, or I got three arrows. And all we have to change is the gap. We saw that at 10, at 10 yards, my gap was four fingers. So that means I'm gonna go up about a half of one of these fingers is a whole pinky. I'm gonna go up a half a finger and three fingers becomes my 20 yard gap. Voltland shooting method, step one, choose your gap. Step two, anchor under your chin. Step three, look down the left edge of the string. Step four, put the tip of the arrow on the target. Step five, smooth release shot a little high step one choose your gap step two anchor under your chin step three look down the left edge of the string step four with the tip of the arrow on the target step five now we got a perfect bullseye my god let's go and see if we can shoot at 30 yards too camera is still rolling 30 yards is over on that side what changes just the gap okay I had to charge my camera up so it's it's like an hour later after we were shooting at 10 yards and at 20 yards so now we're going to pick up and shoot at 30 yards that's the target that's out there that's got the rag on it what do we do for this 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 method that i'm teaching you this five-step method we just change that gap looks like this this was 20 yards this is going to be 30 yards just go up a half a finger and that's going to actually pull the arrow down in the back put the tip up in the front which means it's going to go a little bit farther and it's going to look something like that when you're looking down the left edge of the string and putting the tip of the arrow right on the target we're going to pick the gap about two and a half fingers now we came up a half a finger we pulled just a, a slightly we're a half, uh, two and a half fingers instead of three. Step two, draw back under our chin. Step three, look down the left edge of the string. Step four, put the tip of the arrow right smack on the target. Step five. And we're almost dead bullseye. Fantastic. Let's do the next one. The next one out there is those four big black dots. That's 40 yards. What changes? Only that gap changes that you pick. In this case, it's going to be, see you, Greg. Instead of three fingers for 20 yards, instead of three fingers for 20 yards, two and a half fingers for 30 yards, now it's going to be a two finger gap like that. And it's going to look like this at 40 yards. We're going to look down the left edge of the string, put the tip of the arrow on the target, and do a smooth release like that. So let's get out of the way of the camera. I think this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna pick my gap. Step one, choose my gap.
Step two, I'm aiming for the center of the target, not at any one of them. Step two, draw back onto the chin. Step three, look down the left edge of the string. Step four, put the tip of the arrow on the dead center of the target. Step five, nearly perfect. I'm like this far left of dead center at 40 yards. So what do we got to do? Time to go out, let's see, 20, 30, 40. Time to go after the 50 yard one. What do we do at 50? Just change the gap. What's the gap gonna look like? It was three fingers for 20. It looked like that. It was two and a half fingers for 30. And look like that. It was two fingers for 40. And look like that. So now it's going to be, yes, you guessed it, one and a half fingers for 50. And it's going to look like that. So let's give it a try. Step one, choose your gap. Step two, draw back under your chin. Step three, look down the left side of the string, the left edge. Step four, put the tip of the arrow right on the center of the target. Whew. Step five, smooth release. I'm this far to the left of dead center on a bullseye at 50 yards with the shooting method. If you're a brand new recurve archer, one thing you're gonna find out is hardly anybody shoots a recurve, certainly not bare bow at 50 yards, and now you're learning how to do it. So what are we gonna do? Ha! You're looking and saying, Mark, you just showed me how to shoot at 10 yards, and 20, and 30, and 40, and 50, but there's a 60 yard target out there. So let's go after it. I got one arrow left. What do we do? Is there some magic involved? Nope, we're changing the gap. We have to continue this is what uh, 20 yards look like. This is what 30 yards look like. This is what 40 yards look like. This is what 50 yards look like. This is what 60 yards will look like. That kind of a gap. Let's go over it. Again, we had, this was our 20 and it looked like this. At two and a half fingers, we had our 30 and it looked like that. 40 yards, we had two fingers. And it looked like, and it looked like that. At 50, it was one and a half fingers. And it looked like that. So now at 60, it's going to be one finger. And it's going to look like this. Way out there at 60 yards like that. Let's give it a try. I'm kind of tired. Step one of this method, the Voltland shooting method. Step one, choose your gap. Step two, draw back under your chin. Step three, look down the left side of the string. Step four, put the tip of the arrow right smack on the center of the target. Step five, Oh, 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 let's go take a look at that. I hope if you're a new archer, you're, what you're getting is this. You're saying, Mark, are you telling me that in five easy to learn steps, you can teach a complete novice that hasn't even shot an arrow before how to actually shoot with deadly accuracy and confidence at 10 yards, at 20 yards, at 30 yards, at 40 yards, at 50 yards? At 60 yards? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. You just have to be willing to unlearn any traditional shooting techniques and advice that you're getting from other people about aiming off target at some imaginary gap, stuff like that. You have to be willing to unlearn that. And if you do, then this is what you're gonna get to enjoy. Shooting with confidence, shooting with confidence at that kind, at that kind of a distance. And where does 60 yards look like? Let's swing all the way around. It's way the heck up there, you guys. See that white way off in the distance? See that white way over there? That's the 60 yards. And the arrow came 
whop right in there. Pretty darn cool. And here's the other thing that I want you to know about this method, this Voltland shooting method. Because I use the tip of the arrow as my front sighting pin, I actually am watching that arrow. I'm watching that arrow from the moment it leaves my bow all the way as it's flying through the air, coming back down and landing on the target. I'm watching the arrowhead. My eye never leaves it. I'm not looking at some other set of pins, some other sighting mechanism. I'm actually watching the arrow in flight and that is so cool. So there you are. Let's uh, pop this back up and go over this Voltland shooting method one more time. The method that I'm teaching you has got five steps to it. Five easy to remember steps. Step number one, choose the gap at the back of the bow. The gap between the top of your finger and the arrow itself. That gap, as it gets smaller, causes the back of the arrow to go down, causes the front to go up, causes it to shoot farther. So 10 yards looks like this. 20 yards looks like this. 30 yards look like this. 40 yards looks like this. 50 yards looks like this. 60 yards look like this. And if I could show you what you're thinking is, Mark, there's room left on the string. Guys, this is 70 yards. This is 90 yards. This is 110 yards. And this is what it looks like when you're shooting. This is what it looks like when you're aiming. You're putting the tip of the arrow right smack on what you're trying to hit. Not, you're not putting that arrow below it somewhere, above it somewhere, off to the, if you, that would be your right side, off to your left side. No, you're putting it right smack on what you're trying to hit. And that gives you a supreme amount of confidence with this shooting technique. That you know the arrow is gonna go where you're pointing it not some other place. It's going right there. So that five step bolt land shooting method, choose your gap. Here would be a gap for 20. Step one, choose your gap. Step two, draw back under your chin, not on your cheek. When you draw back on your cheek, guys, you're holding your arrow like this, but if you're my target, I'm looking there and my arrow is aiming some other place. So then you have to try to compensate by moving the whole arrow off to the side which means now you're aiming over there somewhere to try to hit this. Holy buckets, anchor under your chin and that problem goes away. Look down the left edge of the string with your eye, look right over the top of the arrow and put the tip of your arrow right smack on the target. Five, step five, do a small motion release, small, like you're a little mechanical release like that. There's the five step Voltland shooting method that anybody can learn. If you've never picked up a bow, you can learn this. I teach this in 30 seconds to people and they plug 10 yards, they plug 20. So those are the five steps in the Voltland shooting method. I can teach anybody to shoot a recurve bow in 30 seconds flat with this technique. And you can shoot with that method. Even a 20 pound bow can go all the way out to 70, even 80 yards, 80 yards with a 20 pound bow. Check the method out. Feel free to watch some of my other videos. If you like what you see, Subscribe and like. This is Mark Vogt with Voteland Outdoors, and I, I'll see you out there. Bye. Cut.